Hi, I'm Robert. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube video. I'm a very handy person. I've been fixing things as far back as I can remember since I was nine years old. I've fixed stuff like sheetrock walls, small appliances, computers, and the list goes on and on. I even have some formal training in carpentry and computer repair. So I hope you find this information useful. Working on a Maytag uh, dryer. When you started it up and it started running, it just made horrible noise and sounded horrible. So I opened it up and seen that the fan that circulates the air and sucks the exhaust was uh, disintegrated on the pulley. So I picked up a fan, put it all back together, going to show you how to do this. So let's get started. Here's the tools I needed. A uh, quarter inch socket, a uh, five sixteenth socket, a large socket to fit over the front of the fan, a uh, cage centerpiece to tap the fan on, screwdriver to take the lid open, and I used that little uh, screwdriver adapter to get the clip out, and then of course the quarter inch screwdriver driver. Whenever you order and get parts from a appliance you need to find a service tag which has a serial number and the uh, model number on it because that's what they'll have to use to get the part the correct part for you next you want to pull it away from the wall and unplug it you always unplug anything that has electrical power coming to it because you don't want to get electrocuted Okay, so I got the unit unplugged from the wall, and it doesn't appear that the back of it opens up. The metal actually wraps around the back, so there must be another way to get it open, and that way is to lift up the front. To open up the front of the dryer, you have to lift this front end up. If you look down in there, you'll see a couple of tabs that are hard to see here. But you put your screwdriver in there and you push the center of the tab and it will release the clip then lift up on it. So you don't want to break those clips by just jerking the top of it up. So once you get it open, uh, lean it back on something. I got it leaned back on the cabinet to support it. Next thing you want to do is figure out how to get the front of it open. So uh, I looked on the inside and there's a screw there and a screw on this side that I removed and it lets the front down. But before you do that, you want to disconnect the wires uh, from the front of it so that you don't damage any of those wires. So I actually pulled the screws out and let it down a little bit and then I unplug the wires. I got a door switch wire here that comes off. I released this clip by pushing that in there and I unplug this wire here on the front that goes down the front of the door. So let me pull those screws and open that front panel. Okay, this metal clips here open up to let that uh, door switch out. So. I'm going to go ahead and take two hands and get that out of the way. This wire connection here just uh, unplugged. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. And then I'm going to let the lift the front of it off. The lower part of that front panel just rests in those two clips. Now you can see the fan housing, how it's cracked and torn up. So let me see how to get that open so I can get at that, that fan cage. Looks like several quarter inch screws around the front of the fan box. So I'm going to take those out and see what happens from there. Okay, I got seven quarter inch screws. I'm sorry, eight quarter inch screws and two five sixteenth screws from down the bottom. Now it looks like the front of that comes open. So now you can see how some of the fan broke and went down into the assembly. And we'll see the front of it. 
looks like it has a clip on it, so I'm going to grab a pair of pliers or a small tip screwdriver and try to open that clip to get it off the shaft and see how it goes from there. Now I got that open, you can see how the fan somehow busted up and got sucked into the exhaust and it looks like a clip on the front of the fan housing. So I'm going to try to get that clip off with a small tip screwdriver or something and see if the new one will slide on. Okay, I got the clip off the front of the shaft so now the fan will hopefully just pull right off and it did. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit and slide the new one on and put it all back together. Here's a new cage I got from the appliance part center for about 45 bucks. There's some kind of big clip there that I guess goes over that shaft once I get it in place. Then I'll put that retainer clip on the end. So I got that cleaned up a little bit so let me go ahead and get this in. Alright it was a little tough for the fan to slide all the way over the shaft so I got this socket that was big enough to fit over the shaft and I set it over the shaft and I tapped it with a hammer until I felt that it was on far enough to get my clip ring back in place. So I'm going to take the pliers and put this other sleeve on it and then once I get that other sleeve on it I'm going to put the clip in place. Okay, I got the big metal ring around the outer portion of it. Then I got the clip ring on the front of it. I vacuumed a lot of that dust out of there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the front of the fan cage assembly on. Okay, I got those things all screwed in place. So now I'm going to spin the, the whole assembly. Make sure that fan spins. And as you can see, it spins as I spin the tub. Grab the tub up here and spin it and it makes that fan spin and everything seems nice and quiet. So I'm going to go ahead and set the front back on and then lift it into place and connect those electrical wires and switches. Okay before I put this all back together I noticed that the screen was not sitting flush down into the door so there was a lot of lint jammed up in there so I got all that free with a hanger and a screwdriver and drug it all out of there then I cleaned out all the dust from down in that exhaust port too so you might want to clean this out before you put it back together that may prevent problems from it getting stuffed up and jammed up in the future okay make sure your wires plugged in your wires are clipped where they was your door switch is plugged in and you got the screws in on both sides and that the door fit right the front of the panel fit right up up against the front of the dryer and make sure that the dryer still rotates whenever you try to turn it now you want to go ahead and lower the front of it in and make sure it clips closed okay you want to get the dryer plugged in you want to make sure the vent is hooked up properly so that it vents outside. I got it pushed back in there and I pulled a couple things from behind the dryer and out of that vent cage. So now you want to make sure that the dust collector gets seats all the way down in the dryer properly. So now it seats down there properly. It should catch all the vent, all the dust that goes through there. Once you got the little dust vent in place, go ahead and close the door, fire it up, make sure it's quiet and it runs right. Alright, it's running nice and quiet again, so it should be good to go. If you got any questions, go ahead and post them. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.